make a hole in here this is where it's gonna go not ideal but don't have much of a choice I was thinking about putting it here but <clears throat> this is right where my truck door opens so can't have that man I got so much so much crap back here it's ridiculous boy this is gonna be in my way might have to move that that's a home built outboard motor stand getting this taken apart I already let the air out of this, so should be good. If not, it'll be pretty entertaining. Stupid clamp. Wonderful. Little screw came right out of it. Beautiful. There we go. This was on there a little too tight. Holy crap! Wow. I guess I didn't want that to come off. Try the needle nose first. Oh, I don't want to swing here. Wowza. Oh, that worked. Partly broke the thing. That's okay. Alright, so that's where the air is going to go in. It's going to be full three quarter inch instead of this uh, little three eighths guy I got in here. Go ahead and get that out of there. Oh, I'm gonna need a wrench. A wool wrench. An adjustable wool wrench. Got that. I probably should have got something to hold. Oh. That's like hold it. Wow! Holy crap! Somebody put that on tight. Oh, get a hold on to your tools, man. Plumbing. That's something I envision doing on YouTube. Bunch of crap in there. A little bit of residual air. Wow, what a mess. That's been in there a few years. Yeah, that has been in there, I want to say, about 16 years. All of that. I think, I'm trying to remember when I installed up all these copper lines. It's right around that time. Quite a while ago. Alright, so that's free. Disconnect that little guy right there. Everybody's getting sick yet. Whipping you around everywhere. Ah, you gotta get the wrong side. This one handed filming business is difficult. Ow. So I'm going to pull that hose off and unplug it and this thing is officially retired from service. Next guy even gets free air pressure. Sweet. Actually, I think my brother's going to be getting this one. He needs one. Look, we're going to have to do some electrical upgrades at his house because uh, this thing pulls some serious amperage and his circuitry ain't going to handle it. So we're going to have to deal with that. But I'll get you back out here when we uh, get that compress a forklift it out here and we're gonna have to get it off the pallet i was gonna leave it on the pallet but the pallet's kind of unstable cracked and it's just too big it's gonna be overhanging down here over into the dirt here <clears throat> what little concrete i have out here this is what i used to work on I used to lose all my parts in that dirt I tried to put plywood and stuff down where i could but it wasn't fun here's the marquee there's an Alaska license plate. Look at that, huh? Sweet. So, anyways, 
I'll get you back out here when we get the compressor all set up. I gotta run. Actually, might do the electrical first. It'll be a little easier. Then, then I won't be uh, trying to dodge a compressor. I gotta think ahead here. Ta da! We got it in here. And I kind of jumped the gun, started wiring. Totally forgot I had the camera out here. Totally forgot I was supposed to record that part of it, but either way, you can kind of see what I got going on here. White and a black coming in, and a white and a black going out. That's pretty much it. Pretty simple. A couple grounds. That is that. What I'm going to do right now is uh, the old trusty meter, 18 year old Blue Point. I got when I was going to school. So I got the breaker on right now, but the switch. Actually, I'll show it to you. Kind of a stupid. This thing's a piece of crap. I don't like it. But that's the. See the contacts on there? That's how you turn this thing on and off, is uh, pulling this thing out, which I'm not a big fan of. I would have rather have had a exterior throw, you know? But I didn't want. Fuses. I don't want to have to pay for fuses when I already this this thing's on a breaker anyways So there's kind of no point in having two fuses. It's just costing me more money That's the bottom line So I got that breaker on right now get the trusty meter out here and see what we got for voltage Got it on AC, which I never have it on Sixteen volts on one leg. <laughs> That's weird how it reads without uh, having a path back. So there you go. Two two thirty five point six five yeah point five I guess two thirty five. Enough to hurt you. Just make sure this line's dead before we go playing around here. Yeah, we got one tenth of a volt. That ain't gonna hurt nothing. Okay. So we're good. So I'm gonna pop this guy off and cut the length that I need here. It's probably supposed to be in conduit. I ain't an electrician, so don't use my, me as a guide here. But I just want my compressor to work. All right. <laughs> Had you all set up and you took a big spill. Surprise camera's still working. Right. <clears throat> line, line, okay. That's what I want to see. See if we can get this out of here. Somehow. There we go. Okay, it's supposed to have a little piece that goes in there, and I don't have it, so. Oh well. Throw me in jail. Cutters for this. We'll slice up the middle. This is a pretty heavy duty wire. Ink gauge. Two conductor with a ground. I've had this wire forever. I actually bought this wire. Let's see. I got back from Phoenix, so that was probably 2001. So what's that? 18 years? So. I bought this for a, a compressor at my parents' house. Actually, that compressor right there, uh, the, uh, the one I'm replacing, that Craftsman. Because I bought that Craftsman and it kept uh, kept blowing the breaker out there. A little too much amps when it had a full load of air in it. If it was empty, it would kick on no problem. But once you get some air pressure in there, the thing wouldn't kick on at all. Strippers. What you can see here? Yeah. I guess you can see. Oop, that didn't work. When it's time for a new set of strippers, I've had these for quite a while. Magnetics or everything sticking to it. Oop, wrong one, dummy. Come on now. Give me a hand. 
and come on now, give me a break. I think this Y is a little too heavy for this thing. Eight gauge, a little overkill, but that's what I had. <laughs> Hit me in the face. It's just a simple wire. It's gonna fight me. Well, let's see what that does. Might be in as far as it can go. That seems to be in there. Doesn't look like it. But... Yeah, crap. This one ain't working at all. Then I can see. <sighs> Do over. Story of my life. Okay. Get down in there. How to make a simple job a complete total cluster. Get mad. Stand make me mad. Oh, man. Stuff is not very forgiving. Just does not want to move. Alright, there we go. I think I got this one out. What I do is we grab it. Alright, that one's good. Let's try to work on this guy. I had enough for one day, I think. Come on. There you go. Okay. All oh, this for air. Been out here all day. I had to help the neighbor. I had to plow a path for his wood lot over there. And then we had to move a bunch of stuff around here. We had to fight this thing. We'll do this at home, kids. All right. Touching the other ground wire. I'm not really that concerned about it. To tell you the truth, I'm about I'm about done working out here today. Ah, crap! I should have run that underneath. Ah, see, I start screwing things up. Should have ran that wire underneath the hose there. Do I feel like taking it apart? Nope. Not after going through that, so I'm going to call this done. Let's see if I can get this back on. That should be good. Why does that not look right? It's not right, that's why, dummy. Truth, I'm gonna throw this little device in. That's that, okay. So we're not at the cutout pressure, so turn this to auto. Yeah, it's gonna do nothing. So we're gonna let some air fly out of here. Nice. Yep, so right up 175. It doesn't focus worth a crap, so. Ah, so anyways, that is that. I just threw a little box up there tied into the wire I had running to the lift. Probably not supposed to do that either, but gotta do what you gotta do to keep stuff working here, you know? So, you might not want to copy what I do. Like I said, not an electrician, as you can see. You know what I might do? Run this down on the knee. Of course, I can't. Crap. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna tack it up here with some little anchors, and uh, it'd be easier to just unbolt these underneath, and I'll uh, bend this out, run the wire underneath it. 
fixed it. That's a little better. Quick and easy. I was only able to get one of those in. I tried getting back there. Not a whole lot of room to swing a hammer. I just got mad and said, hell with it. This is the valve right here coming out. So we're going to try and decide where to put this dryer slash lubricator system I got. I could stick it off of here, but then it's going to come way the heck out over here. I think I might just have it come right, right straight out of here if I can, if I get enough space. Give me some tiffin on the tape. Boom. It's lunchtime. It's actually supper time now. This day is gone. I don't know what the heck I was doing the last time I used it, but nothing good, I guess. What a mess. Anyways. Let's get this little guy in here. She's heavy. Ah, oh, man. This ain't good. Too heavy to put there. It's actually going to go this way. Direction of airflow is this way. Ah, I'm going to have to mount this thing. I did not account for that at all. All right, I'm going to have to come up with a plan C. Uh, uh, so, through the miracle of modern television, or technology, it is the next day, and I got some new goodies, and I got the wrong one here. <laughs> Hang on. Give me a minute. Thank God. thought I made a grave error. That needs to stop. That's getting pretty annoying. Like a gong show. <clears throat> so anyways, you guys are probably watching yesterday when I put this thing on. I had the, I always do that. I get the Teflon tape going the wrong way and it just all bunches up and makes a mess. So, but anyway, we're going to try to do it the right way today. Almost there in the home stretch. So this is gonna, gonna turn that way, so you need it to go this way. What a disaster this is. My busted Teflon tape. This is awful. Licensed plumbers are screaming at me right now. What are you doing? Good enough. So that will go on like that. Do it the right way, yay! <clears throat> kind of made another mistake. That's gonna go this way. Old oh, Teflon. Teflon tape. Man, this thing's gonna flow some serious air. I had that little tiny quarter inch uh, bushing on there for all those years and never really had a problem with airflow other than the Compressor running out of air. You know, everything seemed to work pretty good. I'm gonna have to get. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Wanted to leak, so I'm gonna hog it on there. Too tight now. Okay. Uh, next bushing. Half inch close. Am I going the right way? Oh, I actually am. For a change. It's all coming back to me. I did not think that through very well, did I? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know how I'm going to be able to turn that whole big unit around. Is this going to work? You got the wrong stuff. Come on, man. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna kill somebody. Ah! Ah, to be continued another day. All right, we're back. It's the next day again. It's Sunday now. Now I just undid what I just did. 
<laughs> because I realized I could not get that old device on here with this thing installed. I'm trying to figure out which way I gotta go here. I gotta go this way. I gotta redo the tough one on tape. Do that a lot around here. Should be an expert. I do everything twice. Ah crap, what am I doing here? Did I just did I just screw up again? You gotta be Oh my god, I hate plumbing. This is why I, I this is why I'm not a plumber. Oh my lord, I'm gonna flip out. I just I just got this. Oh my god, you're an idiot. Oh wait a minute. No 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, here it is. Right in front of me. Okay. A little, little brain fight action. Oh no. Tell me. Ha! 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 Oh man! I needed a straight. I didn't need an elbow. Ah! Oh, that makes me angry. Extremely angry. I can't believe this. Alright, well, so much for this. That's a three quarter inch. So I got this. This is half inch. So I need half inch to three quarters. Isn't that what I got? Oh no, I do have it. Oh man. This is gonna be the best video I ever made. Wow. Talk about losing my stuff here. Yeah. Man. Don't mind me. Oh no, it is screwed up because I got an elbow. How can I do this? Ha! Ah oh, man, I needed a straight piece. <laughs> I just looked at the package. Oh my god, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to bed right now. The hell with this. I'm done. I'm done. Can I even get my money back on this? I just destroyed the barcode and everything. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, we'll see you in a couple days. Well, so I come up with a plan. <laughs> Even though I bought the wrong part, I think I can make it work. I'm just going to have to organize everything a different way. Okay. Let's try this again. This is take 12. Take 12. Teflon, Teflon. I did it backwards again. Oh, How did you manage that one? I mentioned I hate plumbing. I think I might have mentioned that. Because I suck at it. Requires too much thinking for me. Okay, where'd my wrench go? Right in the dirt. Perfect. This thing's heavy, man. It's a good thing means although it was built in the mainland it's probably halfway decent that's gonna be tight enough Whew, man. all right before i put this on i gotta think which never works out well more teflon okay ready tidy lefty lucy have to go this way I'm going this way. I always get this wrong. Hey, come on now. Flip around. Can I assume it goes the same way? Okay, now. Discombobulated. Hey, come on, cut it out. Come on, stupid. She really should have a pipe wrench. Ah, more Teflon. Hate this stuff. Okay, what do we got here? Do we know which way I gotta turn this thing? <laughs> I do plumbing, I suddenly forget which way I gotta turn everything. Why is that? 
I'll figure it out by the end, and then the next time I do plumbing, I'll forget everything I did. I'd rather be soldering. At least I can handle that. Uh. What's happening? Hey. Okay, we're done. <clears throat> I didn't film that whole painful process because I suck at this, but I had to take that off. So I was running out of clearance, but and uh, my neighbor ended up having uh, a one inch uh, nipple over at his place, so grabbed that from him. That saved my butt. Brought this thing out a little ways. I just put a two by behind it. Mounted it all up. We got the gauge in there. I got shadows everywhere. We got the line hooked up there. And we got this all hooked up here. So, and I got my trusty leak detector around here somewhere. Stuff. It's about as good as it gets, to be honest with you. No need anything fancy for finding leaks, in my opinion. This stuff works great. So I'm gonna spray everything. I got no pressure in here right now, but. Just getting ready. Well, this should be fine, but I'll spray it again anyways. Moment of truth. Got about 165 pounds in there right now, so I'm going to crack this open. I don't know what that regulator set at either, so we're going to watch that. Sounds like I got a pretty big leak somewhere. So what happened was <laughs> stupid direction of flow. I didn't pay attention to. See those big old arrows right there? Yeah, I didn't see them. Because I suck at plumbing. So, I do hear something leaking, too. That's going to make me mad. I can hear it, I can hear it, I can hear it. It's not a big one, but it's leaking. I'm going to have to find it. I hate leaks. I really do. Hate plumbing. Probably mentioned that eight or nine times already. Oh. Yeah, we got a leaker. Leaker. See that? It's Windex. Look at the bubbles that blows. Just ordinary Windex. All right, well, at least we found a leak. So I can go ahead and fix that. I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, this long and aggravating ordeal is finally finished. I just, I just sprayed everything down here with uh, Windex. and This side was good before, of course, but this was the problem child side over here. And actually, I think the... I think the Windex froze. Yep, she's frozen solid. But she wasn't bubbling before she froze. So it's about 25 degrees out here. Got down to uh, six degrees last night, so it's a little nippy. So now, just gotta turn this on here. Zing. All the system's pressurized. I don't think this is low enough to kick on yet. Nope. Kind of worried about this thing being 25 degrees. I believe they put 30 weight oil in this thing right from the factory. So that's kind of not a good thing in this part of the country. No, I don't have much of a choice. I guess I could put a light bulb under there and try to keep it warm somehow. But then uh, once it hits 100 hours, then I can change the oil and uh, 
put some 20 weight AMS oil synthetic in there. That'll work. But uh, uh, this has been a pain in the neck. I hate plumbing. <laughs> Everything always goes wrong on me. Every time I try it, I got leaks, whether it's water or air. You got, you got leaks, you got to do it over again, and then you do it over and it mysteriously works. I don't get it. That's why I'm not a plumber. So, anyways, I guess I might as well... Wow, well, there's a bunch of spots all over this lens here. But uh, I guess I'm going <clears> to <throat> try to kick this thing on for you so you can at least hear it run. All right, about 125. I think it kicks on at 120. She didn't like that. She did not like that. Try one more time. That kind of sucks. I'm not real keen on this. Yeah, she's not happy. I kind of suspected that was going to happen. So this is going to be a problem because we're in an unheated garage here. So I might have to look into getting a block heater for this stupid thing. It's always, nothing's ever simple around here. I'd like to be able to get this thing to run today so I can finish doing what I'm doing. The thing won't start. <clears throat> I don't know if I burn the switch out. I got power to the switch. Nope. This thing is no longer running. Gotta love it. Welcome to New England. Come move to Mass. It'll be so much fun. It's so wonderful up here. That's about it for now, I guess. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, so if I come up with a block heater system or light bulb or whatever, I'll make another video. But All right, so it's about two weeks later, and this is what I bought. 24025. Made in USA. Whoa! All right. So I don't mind the rain, the thunder, and lightning. It was—it's uh, been the single digits forever, and now it's today was got up to 60 degrees. But anyways, I just wanted to show you this block heater. It—it's a—you uh, can see it's a little 25 watt stick-on heater. And it gets pretty warm. I mean, it's not very big. You know, I didn't want to get a huge one. I didn't want to have a 100 watt one out here making my meter spin. I got enough things making this meter spin out here. So, But just a little plug-in thing. I might, uh, I have a timer in the house. Um, I'll probably uh, hook it up to the timer at some point. But it gets hot pretty fast. It's already getting warm. I can already feel it. Got the outlet right there, so that worked out good. So, just wanted to update the video and uh, post that. There's a thunder and lightning in March. Anyways, Cat's heaters. We got a new resident in here. The Volvo. This ain't my Silverado. <laughs> That's gonna be an upcoming video because my Silverado's busted yet again. So here she is. And here she's gonna be for the next two to three weeks because I'm waiting on parts. So got some trouble back here got some smashed teeth there's a sneak preview of what we got coming up here so you'll see this video coming up I don't know I got too much light in there but 
See that spider gear has got a nice chunk taken out of it. So there's going to be a aux locker installation video. It's going to be pretty sweet. I got the air actuated one. Whoa, watch out. So I got the air actuated one. It's going to be it's going to be pretty nice. So won't be getting stuck in two-wheel drive at least anymore. But um figured I'd just throw this in here as a little update. Instead of this one done, about had enough of this. I got some I got a car I gotta finish and I gotta keep on moving. I gotta get some heat in this place. It's gonna take a little while. It's pretty cold. So with that said, we'll see you on the next one.